Early Birds and Night Owls. My name is Nox, aka Mako, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. First things first is let's just get rid of this duplicate because of course we still don't want any more. Now, in the last episode we realized that there wasn't really that much carbon dioxide in here and we we'll probably want to move these further down. So naturally we will do that. And we are also trying to funnel in nasty, nasty water somehow in here. And that means that we're probably going to have to work with this. Because as you can see, the water is kind of stuck in there. The nasty water, the poopy water is stuck in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a liquid vent right up into here. And we are going to connect this. Let's see. How can we connect this without touching that one? I guess what we can do uh -huh, is ooh, we're going to have to go like this. Something like that. Connect it with that. Connect it with that. And bring it through there. If we can actually, I think we can do that. And then we're going to bring it around here. Probably through the ladder just to hide that. Hide as much as we can, honestly. And bring it through there. Now, you, we're probably going to need to actually delete something here. Because it seems like if we don't, this water is going to just be coming through here and getting dumped in here. And, and of course, we don't want that to happen. So, we're going to have our liquid pipe selected there for deconstruct. And we're just going to deconstruct this one. I don't know if we're going to have poopy water falling on us. I really hope we don't because you. <laughs> Because, just because, ew. And, of course, we just want to stay clean and clear and out of stress. Because if we have tons of stress, then things aren't going to... <gasps> a buff! Did you see... A, a buff! Hi! Hi, little buddy! What's going on? You are not pooping slime. Is there no slime to be pooping right now? What is in here? So what's in there might either be carbon dioxide or it might be regular oxygen. Because shouldn't it be eating the nasty oxygen and pooping out slime? I don't know. I thought that's how it worked. Hmm. Interesting. 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 Alright, so let's see. They're still working on the sim over here. We have to make sure that it actually works properly because I would love for them to actually start taking showers again. It's been so long, you guys. It's just been so, so long. And this isn't moving. So I guess that's probably stuck in there forever. This should be ready then to be used. So I don't know why nobody's using it right now. Hmm. Also interesting. Well, I guess, you know, it's probably going to take some time for them to realize that they have to poopy, so that's okay. And I guess now we don't really need this? Hmm. I'm going to leave it there, though, just in case, because this looks super fugly. And naturally, we will have water coming all through here, so what if these pipes freeze? What if that happens? Huh? Uh-oh. Yeah, you know what? We're going to go ahead and clean up some of this water, because I imagine that that's probably adding on to the stress, and we don't need that right now. So let's just clean all of this up. That was my bad that we let that happen. Oh boy. Gossman, what's going on? Interrupt the sleep. I am so sorry. Ooh, light wounds. I know you're being treated right now for uh, your stress, but go over there and get treated for that instead. So, we're going to dig up in here because not only is there algae right there, but there's a puffed thimble reeds and tons of slime. And also gold amalgam, which is something we could definitely use. So, let's see. We want to go ahead and do one, two, three, four. Just like that. We're going to make it. Oh, actually, this is good. This is really good because we can make this into a room in case we have accidents. So let's go ahead and do something like that and hopefully that's going to work just nicely. Ooh, soggy feet. Yeah, get over it, okay? It's just a little bit of wetness right there on the floor. Also, this oxygen is super nice. How's our oxygen? Because, um, I don't know if we are still... Ooh. Ooh, that's uh, not a good look for us at all. We really have to start cleaning that up and we will. We will. We'll get there. But right now, the... The main thing I'm trying to do is get up in here so we can get some slime because we probably could really use that slime turning into algae so we can keep making oxygen. And that way then, you know, we can go ahead and actually start cleaning up our carbon dioxide situation. That to me is the priority in that order. I don't know if that's the wrong way to look at it, but that's the way I'm looking at it. And why do we have insufficient- oh, just- just a little bit over. It's not that bad. So, I'm um, thinking- ooh, we have a pinch of pepper seed. Nice. Well, I'm thinking that we're probably going to need some more algae in some point soon. So let's see. We're going to try to get some more of this stuff here. As much as we can without actually breaking into any place. So I think we could probably get that one there. And that one's a little bit dangerous, so I don't want to touch that. Let's try to go over here and maybe here and here. Wait, can we? No, we can't reach those. Oh boy. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and extend the ladder out to there so we can actually get that. And that should be the last bit of oxygen that we can get without breaking into the hydrogen. Because, of course, we're only going to break into there if we need that power. Which, right now, we don't really need it. So we should be okay. For the most part, in terms of power. Because this is doing the work. And sometimes Frankie or someone else actually goes over here and does the work as well. 
All right, so let's see. Is anybody else hurt? Because I know that we had a um, a fight. Light wounds from nails. Uh huh. We had a fight with quite a few hatches. So I'm guessing that you know more than just one person, when, more than just one dupe got hurt. And it seems like this shower thing is actually working, which is good because now we're gonna get tons of nasty water coming in here, and we're finally gonna be able to clean it out. Which means this should work. This should definitely keep working. Like we should get nasty water, not clean water, nasty water. Clean it out, and it should be going into for the showers. Okay, well that'll work. And eventually it'll go to the carbon dioxide and excuse me, the air scrubbers, which are going to be further down here, which hmm, I'm going to have to move this for sure or or alternatively because this is looking pretty full, I'm going to have to let this water just go. <laughs> which sounds like a bad idea, but where else are we going to put it? We could make another tank, honestly. That wouldn't be the worst idea. We could probably make another tank somewhere in here. For maybe some warmer water because this temperature over here should be yeah, it's definitely warmer so maybe somewhere in here which means we're gonna have to open up that little carbon dioxide area right up in there which I am not too thrilled about but if it's gonna work then I guess you know that's just the way it's gonna be all right so we're slowly digging up in here let's see what we want to do is we want to bring a ladder through here because we want to get up to here now I want this algae however I have a feeling that if I break this down slowly, this is going to crack open and all this is going to just pour down on our poor little heads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in some tile up in here and just drop it just like this. And we are going to prioritize that as a 9 just because we need to. It looks like we are, uh, ooh. Two of them can be auto-harvested. Nice. So we're finally going to get thimble reeds, which means we can finally make clothes, which is a long time coming, because these poor guys have... Wait, where are they? I guess they're all working over here? Oh, you're without air. Oh my gosh, you can't bread. Oh, oh. Okay, whatever. Whatever, duplicates. You know what? You can breathe. Just get out of there. There's plenty of oxygen all the way over here. I don't know what you're even doing. Oh, sometimes, you guys. Sometimes, these duplicates. I don't even know what they're doing. All right, so yeah, you're probably upset because wet feet, isn't that right? Mm-hmm. All right, Frankie, you heard. Dirty hands, soggy feet. Drab decor, excuse me? Maybe in this area, boy, but if you go further down, trust me, you are going to be super happy. Oh, mm, maybe not over here. and then Maybe not over here, but over in this kind of-ish area, yeah, you're going to be pretty happy. So get over yourself and get your butt over here so you can stop complaining. And let's see, burn, I mean, the stress is honestly not the worst. And we're also pretty good on food. So I'd say that we are in an okay position. And I'm just saying okay because things can quickly go bad. Every time I say, you know, we're doing fine, things just go really bad. So right now I'm going to just take it lightly, not say anything that's too grand sweeping kind of statements here, and just accept it as it is. So as soon as we get some slime, we're going to go ahead and put those through the bio distiller so we can get some more algae and some other yummy delicious stuff. So to do that, we're going to have to probably put them in here because I know they produce heat. So this is probably going to be the best place for that because this is pretty cold. So it's going to either warm up or it's going to be able to keep it cold. And also we have tons of carbon dioxide here, so we're not really going to use this spot for much else. So let's see. What we want to do is maybe make a room in here because we are going to get some nasty, nasty oxygen. It's going to flow through in here, and that's okay because we have this in here. So I'll probably just lock the doors. That's not going to be too big of a deal. And let's see. So yes, let's get rid of this right here mm -hmm. and we're gonna have to get rid of this this right here is a little bit dangerous especially if we're locking doors if it busts then we are totally screwed but I don't think it's gonna do that I have you guys seen anybody using this because I have yet to see anybody use that honestly let's see is there water no the water just kind of flows through there hmm. anybody using the toilet are you actually are they all going up here instead is that what's happening if that's what's happening, my gosh, I don't know what to do with uh, these little dupes. Well, I mean, it's working, so I'm not going to focus on that too, too much. I should probably focus on things that probably aren't working as well. Anyway, we are going to need a bio distiller over here. Maybe more than just one, honestly. So let's see. We're going to start with one here and put a space between them because... Ooh, we're going to have to get rid of that right there. Yeah, we're going to start with two. I think two is probably a good... Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. Um, we are already getting nasty oxygen. All right, so we're gonna have to prioritize some things right here. Let's go ahead and make a manual airlock, something like this. We are going to go ahead and lock that up with some tile just right here. And we are going to need an air deodorizer. Probably one right here. 
and probably one over here. There we go. So we're gonna have to prioritize all of this stuff to a nine so they will stop digging so far up because that's just gonna give us more and more nasty oxygen that we really don't need right now. So let's just try to clear that up first before we do anything else. And then once they're done with that, then they can continue digging up there. So let's prioritize that to nine as well. Just so we can keep that uh, with the filtration medium, because otherwise we are not getting this stuff cleaned up. There we go. So those are working. The doors are almost in. Okay, you guys. So it seems like we're actually pretty good to go. Just gotta wait for our little dupes to get up in here. And hopefully we'll have tons of stuff to collect. It seems like we will, because there's some more algae right up in there. I wonder what more we can find up here. Our little dupes have finally made it all the way up here. So now the job is to actually put this in here before that breaks, because... I just have a feeling. The game the game just loves screwing with me. I know it does. So I just have a feeling that if we don't close that up, we're going to end up with a mess. And we are doing a pretty good job of it. However, we still need to dig out to here. So I guess we're going to have to dig this so we can actually get over here. And maybe actually harvest these things? So let's see. What else are we going to have to do over here? Because... Ooh, there's actually some kind of good oxygen in there. I wonder if there's another puff somewhere in there that I can't see. That would be interesting to know. So, instead of, you know, just focusing on that, I also focused a little bit on this because I would love to get this in. I had to put this back in here because we couldn't really reach the pipe that was there. And I figured that if this is to break, we're going to need that to get up there. So, my bad that I took that out in the first place. Now, we need our little dupes to actually put the rest of these in so that as soon as we get... Did they just... Did someone just jump in the water? Yeah, they had to. My bad. Ooh, they're not going to be happy about that. They would definitely love a change of clothes, wouldn't they? <laughs> they're like sopping wet right now. Let's see. You're sopping wet and dirty hands. Mm. I am so sorry, but that was the last pipe you had to do. So that's... You should be okay, okay? You're going to be just fine. Just okay. All right, so there we go. We have these guys working, and it's just awaiting slime delivery now. So these are pretty good. Let's see. We're going to have to lock this in, though. So let's put a tile up there and a manual airlock right up in there. Now, I'm not so sure if I want to keep this separated from this because this is actually going to produce nasty oxygen. I think I want to. I just think I want to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all this here. Mm-hmm. And we're going to put the door right in the middle here, because if we put it any further up, you know it's going to go right up through there, and we're going to get that coming in through our base. I mean, that probably is going to get clean over here, but I don't want that anywhere else but in here. That's honestly all the only place we're going to keep it. And of course, we're going to get some nasty oxygen in here occasionally, but I mean, that's okay. We're seemingly doing a pretty good job of keeping it contained or actually turning into other things. Do we have any clay there? I can't even tell. I see some right there so yeah I think we're definitely turning it good and we are finally using up our food stores although we still have some more food there so I'm not like too uh too sure it's ooh it's the freshness is not so good on some of these oh did I see that did I see that right oh what there's already nasty stuff coming in here Aloha. let's go ahead and focus on Lisa right now so we're going to go ahead and do this up in here because, yeah, this is just going to float right on up and that's going to make so many people unhappy. So let's go ahead and do this up right now. So we're going to go ahead and prioritize this to a 9 because we need that done right now. Same thing with this. We're going to need that right now. And on top of all this, let's just get a few deodorizers for this area here because I have a feeling that's probably going to help a little bit. So let's do Let's prioritize those to 9s as well. And are these even working? Like it's just as a waiting slime delivery. What the heck happened down here? What did they what did they do? How did this start happening here? Okay, it shouldn't just be that, you know, we install bio distillers and suddenly this is all mess. Oh, they did put slime in there. You little monsters. You little little monsters. That wasn't oh, it wasn't the time for that. Oh, I can't believe them. And poor Gossman seems to be not feeling okay. Yeah. Not feeling okay at all. Also, this is actually pretty full. I'm tempted to just turn it off right now because that's an insane amount of water. It seems like we've drained out most of the water from there, so that's a little bit much. Ooh, we're not producing enough oxygen. I mean, the algae is still... it's not that great. We could get some more. Oh, hi, little puff. Ooh, some slime. Okay, nice. Ah, I was wondering where we got the slime. Wait, we didn't get it from there. Where did we get the slime? The heck? Weird. Interesting and weird. Well, we want to make sure that we prioritize these two nines as well because these seem to be like the most important things to keep up with for now. For now. Because if we don't clean this up, then what are we doing? Hmm? What are we doing? Well, on the bright side, we're getting algae. 
We're getting algae for once. Hey, look at that. We actually did something pretty quickly. Circuit is overloaded, though, so we are going to have to watch out for that. Hey, Frankie, just stop. Just stop. Frankie, stop. Frankie. Someone's going to have to shut that off on him. There we go. Okay, so maybe that's going to help some. I don't think it's helping at all, actually. Let's see. We're going to need to check gun power. So is the circuit really... It's. It looks okay. What's happening? <laughs> how is this happening? Hmm. Let's see how the batteries are draining. It seems like they're draining quite quickly. Yeah. I think we're going to need some more power, but it said circuit overloaded, and then I turned that off, and one of them went away. Hmm. Well, let's just try turning it back on and see if that's going to be okay. I'm thinking that we're probably just using too many things on the same circuit, so that means... Now we're probably going to have to place things on different circuits, and that's going to be okay. I'm okay with that, because of course we have all the hydrogen power over here. However, however, where is it? Hydrogen generator, right. So, however, this is, um, it's going to produce heat, and obviously, this is hot. <laughs> This is hot, so we're going to have to maybe try to cool this one. Unlike all the other things I've been doing, this is probably going to need to be cooled. And, well, I mean, we could, you know, put this somewhere else. <laughs> Honestly, we could put it somewhere else and just connect it up with some hydrogen, like dump the hydrogen into the room or something like that. And, I don't know, that's one way we can do it, but I don't think I want to do that. I don't know, we'll consider it for sure, though, if the uh, circuit overload happens one more time. And it seems like we have a... Poor one stress person. So poor Gossman has not been having a nice time. So we're going to make sure that only Gossman goes on this. There you go. Why are you waking up in the middle of the night to deliver polluted dirt to that? What's, what was that about? Okay, weird. And this is staying patched. Good, good, good. And let's see. Where do we have some algae? We have some right there. Mm, I don't really want to uproot this, but I think I'm going to have to. Just because I would like to get that algae right there. And, well, we can... We have some seeds, like, somewhere down here, so we could probably just start planting them on things that aren't algae, right? So let's see, we want to go ahead and dig some of this up and some of that, and our algae stores are not looking so good. So let's go ahead and get some more algae from right up in here. There we go. And, oh, we have some more over here. Oh, there's another ice area over here. Aha. Aha. Hmm. I wonder what we can find in there, because we haven't even yet gone into this one over here, so I wonder what we're going to find. Do we even go in there? I don't know if I want to go in there, honestly. Oh, hi, little... Dude, why don't you come to our base? Like, come down in here so you can start cleaning things and giving us the slime directly instead of us having to go up in there to actually get all the slime. The price said, though, that we don't have to actually dig for slime. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Puffy. All right, so it seems like... Oh, no power? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we don't really have power going for us after starting this up. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, some hydrogen power, huh? Well, let's see what we can do about that, because we're obviously going to have to break this open. Let's see. How do I want to do this? Get some sand in there. That would be nice. We still have some algae in here. Mm-hmm. I think what I want to do is maybe make it into a room, and, like, this is going to be the room. So I'm going to have to lock this up with a few doors just to make sure that we don't accidentally let anything in. So let's try that and see how that works. And I see some stuff that could be deconstructed, so let's try to maybe deconstruct this right here. I would prefer not to have that there. And yeah, they're just like straight up always loading these up. It seems like they have nothing else to do. And this, it seems like it's breaking our thing over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just uh, disable this. Because we don't need any more water, apparently. Wasn't there another pump somewhere? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're getting water from somewhere else, too. So yeah, we really have to turn that off. Let's also de just reject all of these so we don't need them. And did they turn them off? Good. Ooh, why is there still water coming in here? Oh, because we still sent a few. And ooh. Ooh, we're going to have to use that water pretty quickly. We should be using it, though, for our other things. So, I mean, we probably shouldn't be too concerned with that, right? Probably. Oh, yeah. the uh, <laughs> These guys are overpressurized right now, which is not so good. This, I'm worried that it might bust because clearly we don't have anywhere to actually dump this water, which is rather unfortunate, which means that water is stuck in there until we actually use all of this water for maybe food because we are actually... Getting to the point where we're, I would consider it kind of sort of low. So let's see. Do we have... Wait, do we have... I mean, it's, it's saying that we have them. So sure, let's turn those into food and see what... Oh. What happened in here? 
Is that from down here? I think that might be from down here. So what we're gonna have to do is put a deodorizer right up in there, unfortunately, and that should help. All right, so as soon as we get these doors in, we're gonna just knock out all that algae and set up some hydrogen power. So let's see, hydrogen generator. Where exactly can we place this? Probably create a nice little shelf right up in here because all of this is probably gonna float up. I'm just expecting it to do that. So let's see, we're gonna go ahead and tile this up. That should be enough. Sure, let's just do it like that. We're gonna dig this up here. Like that. I don't, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have to be that tall, but I just want to dig it up a little bit. There we go, something like that, so we can have enough room. And yes, please let's get this whole thing cleaned up because I have no freaking clue what happened here. Please and thank you. There we go. All right, so LG, we have plenty of it now that we have two of these going, so it seems like two is okay. Are you sure you want to be breathing in there? No wonder she was so stressed because she's just being dumb right now. Ugh. Gossman, what are we going to do with you? Ugh, I don't even know what to do with her anymore. And it seems like um, all this ice, all this polluted ice is really melting very, very quickly. So we're ending up with a lot of pockets of nasty, nasty polluted water. That provides a nice opportunity, you guys, because as soon as that gets all nasty and uh, pooly, then we can turn it into another one of these here. So building less resources, bio distiller. I mean, are you sure about that? Hey, why are you not pooping? What What, what are you doing? Your chilly surroundings. Get, get over here. Get over here. We need more slime. Uh, I guess it's not going to give us any more slime, so I guess we're going to have to get our own. Let's just do something like that, and that should be some more slime for our purposes. Yeah, we have to keep up on the slime for sure, for sure, and also the power, because look at this. This one's running low. Our batteries are not fully charged. We need some big-time help right now, so let's get this done with and connected and see how that goes. So it turns out that our coal generator wasn't working so well because we were low on coal. That's right, low on coal. I found some right up in here, but that's a pretty tricky place to get some because, as you can see, there's a lot of these pools and a big pocket of potential carbon dioxide, likely carbon dioxide, I should say. So that's not really a good place to go. We did get some from here. That's, that's why we were building up that ladder there and kind of sort of ignoring this because coal is super important to get us uh, running and it seems like we're still missing some slime because we're not actually getting any of this come on you guys we kind of need this we kind of need this slime come on you can even get this right here because that's gonna help out what is this clay I mean we don't really need clay because we're always producing it so I guess that's uh, something to ignore let's see oh uh oh this is buried object in there I don't know if that's gonna be hatch but I'm really curious to see so let's see if we uh, prioritize that. What is going to be? Because I don't know what the, what kind of objects we can get from this. So Devin, yeah, come over here and... Oh, you're not coming... What are you doing? Oh, you're getting algae. Well, that works for me. So let's see. What are we going to get from this? It's a... Uh, mealwood seed. Oh, that was a pleasant surprise. Nice. Okay, I can accept that. I can definitely accept that. And ooh, we have a little bit of nice auction here. It's a uh, pretty low concentration, though, so I'm not going to be too thrilled about that obviously I'm not gonna be super excited about that let's see over here oh that's actually really nice wait this is actually oh that's more than I thought never mind Ooh, what what's that purple I kind of like that it looks purple though <laughs> honestly you guys know if you watch a lot of my other videos I love purple purple is the best all right so building less sources the micro musher um I mean that's okay we have plenty of food so I'm not too concerned with that let's go ahead and cancel that there and we still need some slime unfortunately because nobody's actually going over there to collect it sorry for moving around so much just needed to, you know, look around a bit and see what we have going on there. So, Nails is seemingly a little bit stressed, a little bit out of oxygen, understood. And we are still getting all of this. As <laughs> God dang sand just keeps falling right on through. We're going to have to keep digging that out. Oh, actually, the sand falls apart. Nice. I can dig, I can dig that for sure. All right, and it seems like we are just about at the point where we can put this in here. And I put one way too far. <laughs> My bad. My bad. All right, that's okay, though, because eventually we'll replace that one there and just deal with it. So, before we do this, though, it seems like we're going to have to put the lines through here. So, we're going to have to change that into tiling, and then we're going to, let's see, we can probably use hydrogen to power. Wow, there's actually a lot of hydrogen in here. I was thinking that we should probably use it to power something that doesn't really need that much power. Can we? Somehow. Bring this through here without touching anything else. No, because it's powered up. Well... I think I'm going to cut it off, though. I think I am. I'm going to cut it off maybe right here. 
bring this down. Ooh, this is gonna have to connect through this wall instead, which I'm okay with. And then we're gonna bring this around so that can power up this whenever we need to in this, which is gonna be really, really nice. So that way we'll always, you know, have this working off something else and not overloading this, because I think that's gonna help. And let's see, so that means we're gonna have to move this wire, right? So moving this wire, let's go ahead and do something like that, just like there. Mm -hmm. And this one's gonna have to get cut off. Let's see, deconstruct wires. Can I see our wires? Right here, that's not it. <laughs> that's the light one, of course it's the light one. Uh, where is the wire one, the heck? Wait, was there not a wire one? Am I going crazy? Oh, right there, jeez. I thought there was a wire one. There is a wire one, you guys. All right, so let's see. We are going to have to cut this off somewhere. We're gonna bring this over here and oof. This is a bit tricky right up in here because this connects with this. So let's get rid of this. Wait, 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 wait. No, we have to get rid of that. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put a wire up through the door here because we're going to need it there now. Right, so deconstructing wires. Wires, wires, wires. We're just going to get rid of all this whole one right here. It seems like that's what's going to happen. So let's just get rid of that and see how that goes. And, okay, getting rid of all that. Good. So we can bring this over here. Oh boy, it's not connected now. Don't worry, you're gonna be connected in a second. Calm down, there we go. All right, so we're gonna bring it through here. Bring it down here. Yeah, we have to still deconnect, connect, disconnect, jeez. Disconnect, disconnect it. So let's see, we're going to connect this up and over instead. I think that uh, might work a little better. Oh, this is a little bit uh, rough, if I do say so myself, because I'm trying to you know, connect it from over here, bringing it down through here, if we connect this with this, it's gonna power this whole thing, and that's not what I want. What I want is to bring it just through here and connect with that, and not with this. So I could, technically, bring this through there, connect this there, and then deconnect it right up in here. So let's see, we're going to have to... Yeah, that's not so much what I wanted at all. Because now that's just gonna... If I put one here, wait, will it? Hold on, I want to I try something. Let's just see. If I try this, if we... Yeah, hold on. We're going to end up with no power for a little bit because I'm trying to figure this out. Let's try this and see what happens. Like, can we connect two things, two separate things? One over here, one over here, parallel to each other. Because if we can do that, that's going to be pretty interesting and kind of what I want. All right, so let's put those back in. Uh-huh. Okay, come on. Put the power back in before y'all start getting really upset with me because I see quite a bit of stress happening right now. Oh, I don't know where the kids went. All right, we're gonna have to prioritize this because I don't know where the kids went. Uh, not the door. <laughs> not so much the door. But there we go. Kids, where are you? Oh, you're finally getting... Wait, are they finally getting the slime? <gasps> they might have been. They might just have been. My bad. All right, so now this is back going up and powered. There we go. All right, so that should be working. That's idle. Because it's waiting coal. Gotcha. So we should hopefully be putting some coal in there, right? Right. So a lot of duplicates are stressed right now. It seems like there's some kind of problem that I've been ignoring or that I didn't realize. Oh, no, some of them are becoming not so stressed. Ooh, it's like half of them. Maybe it's the ones that are actually going in here to build things and take things apart because they can't really breathe in here. So that was my bad as well that, you know, they got stuck with those jobs. Anyway, what I was trying to do before, let's see. Can we create two separate lines just like this? Like this and like this. Is that even... I didn't hear it click, so I'm gonna assume that it did, though. Because I want all this stuff powered by just this guy over here as soon as we let the hydrogen loose, of course. So let's see, we're gonna need a... Where is it? Plumbing. We're gonna need one of these guys right up in here. And where are we gonna put this? Wait, what did it say? Supply of gas. Wait, is that right? What, th what did this need? Gas intake pipe. I'm pretty sure that's what it needed. I am pretty sure that's exactly what it needs. So we are going to intake... I mean, we could put this anywhere, honestly. We just have to see where the hydrogen goes before we drop that, though. All right, so they are still building this in. That's okay. They can take some time with it. I'm not too troubled by that. And we, of course, have this not powered. We don't have any slime for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Do I even want them going in there? Because that's really, like, carbon dioxide rich in there. I'm going to say no. <laughs> Just gonna say no right now. I'm gonna leave it be for now, because it's not troubling anybody. And we have two super stressed duplicates who should just be hanging out in there. Seems like... Who are you? I thought you were Devin. You are Devin. It should be Frankie or May in there. Or Gossman. Devin. Devin, you shouldn't even be on there. Ugh, I need to bump this up, don't I? 
Bump this up to 50. There we go. All right, so only Gossman, May, or Frankie should be in there. Good. And it seems like we're still being, building this up, so it should be just about time. Come on, little dupes. What's taking you so long with building our hydrogen generator? Do you not want to? Are you afraid of hydrogen? I know I was once upon a time. What is happening over here? Yeah, I feel you guys. I feel you. I feel you very, very stressed dupes. Ooh. I only just realized that this is super full, so let's go ahead and do something like that. I guess this area, I was going to use it for something else, but we're going to have to make it of more storage compactors, because clearly we have tons of stuff. The, if I made this room taller, we could, you know, double it up, but too bad, so sad for me, because I did not realize that that was something that we should do. Alright, so let's see. We want to go ahead and dump as much stuff in here as not slime, polluted dirt, or rot pile. Eh... Gossman, are you okay? <laughs> I know Gossman's super stressed, but I didn't realize that she was freaking out that much. So no slime, polluted dirt, or any of that. So yeah, let's start using those two and these two over here. There we go. And... There we go. Alright, so as soon as they have nothing else to do, they can start cleaning up. Because I know sometimes they go a little bit idle, so they're going to need something to do. And now they have it, so they should be happy with me. And, ooh, we're getting tons of nasty oxygen here. This little guy is no longer producing slime, which means that this oxygen is not that... Yeah, it's... For the most part, it's not that gross, honestly. Well, that's too bad. Alright, so this is now working. So, let's go ahead and do a little bit of digging. I want to leave that for last. So we're going to start uh, doing this one here. So, let's see. How much of this can we actually dig? Dig, dig, dig. We can do all of that. Alright, good. Can we actually dig all of this? Yes, yes, no. Not all of it. Alright, so ladder first. We're going to go ahead and drop a ladder up in... Let's see. We have to make sure that they can walk it. Well, we can get rid of that, honestly. Let's do that. We're going to dig this. And let's prioritize these things here to fives. Just to make sure it gets done. There we go. Alright, so... It seems like our duplicates are almost there to getting to the hydrogen. That way we'll get some hydrogen power so we can power these things, that, and maybe even more, depending on how much power this actually produces. It says it should produce 800 watts. This together, I believe it uses about, yeah, 240, and this uses 240, so that's going to be 480. We're going to definitely be able to put some more things on there, maybe some more biodistillers. I don't know, but we'll see in the next episode because that is it for this episode of oxygen not included if you enjoyed hit that like button share support and subscribe if you already haven't but as always thank you so much for watching and have an awesome night